What's up YouTube, it's Avery Heaney TV here. Today is my first ever time to Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Today I'm with Mike, how are you doing today? Great. And you've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, five years ago, but Lightning Rod and Missing Man were both closed, so hoping to get those today. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing fantastic. I love that shirt, man. Yeah, thanks. So, does Wildcats Revenge live up the hype? Yes, it does. It's insane. Like, uh, it, it's better than you think it is. I believe it. Oh, lightning rod's right there. Lightning rod's right here, and look at this already. You see a lot of mist. That is beautiful. How you doing, Jay? Hey, how's it going? You're wearing your new Bush Garden shirt, and yes, so am I. We're matching today. Yes, sir. <laughs> So we just made it to Dollywood in one piece and uh, here is lightning rod folks. I am nothing but excited for this, but let's hope it's open because a lot of enthusiasts gets turned away by this ride when they first ever come to Dollywood. Lightning rod is open folks. I was a little nervous at first because many coaster enthusiasts gets turned away by this coaster when it's the first time to Dollywood. Lightning Rod is actually one of the most unreliable RMCs out there, so it always tends to break down with the launch system. So, as you just saw just now in Lightning Rod's queue, that's actually part of the effects. From the looks of it, it looks like it shows like they are fixing the car or something. Oh yeah, it's welding. That makes sense. These are more of the effects. This looks like a catalytic converter or a uh, muffler or something. Jay, is that a muffler or a catalytic converter, you think? Or it might be just the engine. This honestly looks faster in person than just watching on YouTube. I'm like, serious. All right, guys, I just got off Lightning Rod, and I'm gonna be honest, my first ride, I was a little underwhelmed by it. I felt like towards the end it was running a little slow, but that's me because it's the morning. But I will say the launch is very solid. First drop is amazing. A bit on the rough side for an RMC, but I do really like the layout. That first like wave turn, that literally tried to kill me. That was probably one of my favorite elements on Lightning Rod. Solid ride overall. I do find it to be a bit on the overrated side, but hopefully later today when it warms up, I can have a better ride. Maybe towards the front or something. How was your experience, Matt? It was actually great, like but better than my rides last year. It, it kind of like falls. I'm sure it's gonna be better later in the day. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah. How was your first ride on Lightning Rod? Um, it was great. I loved it. I mean, it was running a little bit slow because it's the morning. I think it's already in my top 10 though. I think it's probably gonna go higher once I ride it, once it's more warmed up, but first impressions are great. Gotcha. And Jay, how was your first experience on Lightning Rod? That was, that was amazing. I was a little disappointed though. It definitely didn't meet the expectations. So, mostly agree with your opinion, but I still love it though regardless. Yeah. Uh, it's still gonna be very hot on uh, my coaster rankings list. It's definitely a very solid layout and it's definitely not a bad ride either, but I feel like it could do a little better right now, but there's more experience. I mean, there's more rides to experience. All right, guys, so now we're in the other areas now. This is so cool. A highway sign for Dollywood, summer celebration, adventure. Right now, Thunderhead is running their GCI. I heard nothing but good things about Thunderhead, so we're actually gonna experience that next. All 
right, everybody, we just got off Thunderhead, and let me tell you, this ride absolutely craps on Mystic Timbers. It actually makes Mystic Timbers look pathetic. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mystic Timbers is good, but wow. I'm proud to say this is my brand new favorite GCI. This is absolutely slaps, folks. Wow, this is beautiful. I really like those uh, fountains over there. Oh, and what? This is like really good theme. I think this is like theme. Oh, this is themed to the drop line tower, actually. Wow, that's good theming, actually. And there's a small little waterfall as part of the feature, too. All right, guys, our next attraction is going to be Big Bear Mountain, brand new for 2023. Already, this is really cool effects. I see like a waterfall. And I even heard the bear roar actually too, so it is running today. The bear roars right inside here. such a beautiful place. There's Wild Eagle and Mystery Mine. And we just got off Big Bear Mountain Coaster. And I gotta tell you already, folks, I'm proud to say this is my number one family coaster. Whoa! Those launches are very intense for a family coaster. And I got yanked out of my seat like crazy. It actually tries to kill you for a family coaster. And to me, it doesn't even feel like a family coaster. Bravo! Walking through mist. And here's a little themed area for Mystery Mine. A little tunnel we enter and the park is quite packed today from the looks of it but operations has been nothing but fantastic so far like they do a really good job all right we're almost in the station now for mystery mine and we had to wait about a good 35 to 40 minutes and in the brutal heat it's not helping much but um matt you said you've been on mystery mine before yes, I have. and you say it's pretty good yeah, it's a, it's a smooth ride. Well, fun. well, according to what Will said, he says it's actually one of the worst coasters he's ridden, and I think he claims it in, like, F tier or something. I'm not going to lie. That dive loop towards the end, or whatever that inversion's called, I heard, like, before, like, the break run, it had, like, a shape. I am not looking forward to that. Well, let's see how bad it is. Today's review is going to be the Lumberjack Pizza at Lumberjack Pizza at Dollywood. Not gonna lie. All right, so the Lumberjack Pizza has sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. So that actually sounds really good. It's, it's essentially a meat lover pizza, so. Um, it's piping hot, so it might be really messy when I first get the first bite, but. Oh boy. I can barely even make this just like a slice. Oh, here we go. Let's get this a first whirl. Oh my god. This is pretty good. Not bad for theme park standards. Average, I'd say. Um, I definitely really like the bacon and the pepperoni. I feel like the crust is a little too soft in my eyes, but other than that, though, that's what you get at theme parks, to be honest. Nothing's perfect, but pretty good for Dollywood, I'll say. I'd rate this probably a 3 out of 5. 
Now, um, Mikey, yeah. how's the pizza for you? For a music program standard, it's actually very good. I'd rate it, I go about a 10 ring scale. For a music program standard, I'd say like 9, but overall, I'd say like 6.5 probably. Yeah, fair enough. All right, guys, so apparently right now Mikey's decided to settle in, and my other friends right now are finding some other food places, so I noticed that Thunderhead is a walk-on right now, so let's go ride Thunderhead. All right, guys, before we had lunch, we actually just got off Mystery Mine, and Mystery Mine is a bit rough, but not as rough as some claim it to be. I find it to be really jerky in some moments, but... Overall, I really love the theming, and the drop was actually pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. Mikey, on the other hand, he was not so thrilled with that. No, I mean, theming's amazing, nothing else is. I mean, straight suck, that dive loop was brutal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was not pleasant. That actually sucked. I had a minor headache after that, but I wouldn't consider it F tier. More like D tier to me. Being generous. All right, the next attraction is going to be Fire Chaser Express. I heard nothing but good things about this family coaster, and I really love Big Bear Mountain right now. But I don't know if I'm going to like this or that more. That's really pretty for a waterfall section. Holy crap. That is beautiful. Mikey and I ended up getting stuck on Wild Eagle in the station, but after 15 minutes we were able to go. But that really sucked, but Wild Eagle, very underrated. I think it's better than Gatekeeper, what do you think? Um, very underrated, much better than I remember. Definitely not as forceful as summer, actually great on the vertical loop. I don't know if I like it more than Gatekeeper, but very underrated, definitely much better than I remember. Now, we are finally going to do Tennessee Tornado. Now, I heard nothing but good things about this arrow looper. And the thing with the Tennessee Tornadoes, I hear you get like really strong positive G's and I just love the layout and you're going right into the mountain, so. And I just heard the all clear. Next ride is going to be Blazing Fury. I actually don't know much about Blazing Fury, so I'm actually going to be quite surprised. But all I know, it's an indoor roller coaster. It's now time for the moment you've been waiting for, folks. The next food review is Dollywood Cinnamon Bread. And I have icing with it, too. Oh, wow, it's piping hot right now. <laughs> what? That is amazing. Oh my god. Wow. It can go really good with French toast. Five out of five. All right guys, I just got off lightning ride for my second ride. This time it was a little better than the morning. However, 
I still find it to be a bit overrated. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong. Like, the airtime is very strong, but I feel like the ride is a bit too short for me to enjoy, and I really wish they could do a lot more on it. But I really love the launch section. First drop is solid. Actually felt really forceful this time. And I love that first, like, wave turn. Like, that got me every time. I'm right in front of the entrance now, and it's pretty cool. I like the logo, and I like when you enter, you get, like, hot rod themed stuff already. And here's the last part of Lightning Rod, once it goes, in the turnaround. Oh, clear. All right, if you all have the need for speed, make some noise. One place is ready, the rest of you just hold on, they're going out loud. Line is literally non-existent right now. Crowds have been dying down after around like 3.30ish. So we actually did a ride on Dragonflyer, but I didn't have the chance to record in the station because we were actually kind of in a rush to get back to Lightning Rod, but all I have to say for a family coaster, very solid. Actually very whipping, I got some decent positive Gs. That was pretty solid. Now, we are heading towards Lightning Rod. This is gonna be our last ride of the day because afterwards we have to head to Kingsport, Tennessee for our hotel. Then we have to drive a good 12 hours back home. So it's gonna be wild. All right, the last ride of the day is going to be Lightning Rod. We're gonna be in the very last seat. You look forward to ride, Mike? Let's do this. And off our day at Dollywood. All right, guys, we are now in the gift shop before we leave. And I got to say, this is really cool. I love the merch they have here. They got mugs. They got some nice t-shirts, different logos of Dollywood. Big Bear Mountain. That's really cool. Oh, this one especially. Have you seen Remember, Observe, Only Do Not Approach Wildlife? Hey, I'm just here for the cinnamon bread. Wow, that's a really cool Wild Eagle shirt. And I gotta say, Wild Eagle's very underrated. I really like the mugs too for Wild Eagle. Shot glasses. Fire Chaser Express, that was a solid ride. That's a really cool Big Bear Mountain shirt. Next time if I ever go to Dollarwood, I would want to get that one or something. Wouldn't really get a t-shirt for Mystery Mind, but that's a really cool shirt though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 